Now, from 41 NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, MBHI Home Specialists, BMW of Macon, and Robbins Bed and Mattress. With Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Thanks. From Middle Georgia's ESPN, it's week five of the high school football season, and for most teams, it was the last week of non-region play. We've got highlights from seven games tonight. Later on, Tucker Sargent joins us from Fort Valley with our game of the week as Peach County hosted Mary Persons. Let's get kicked off first with Northeast at Central, two making schools with new head coaches. The Raiders got the first win for Jeremy Wiggins last week when they beat Manchester. The Chargers still looking for the first win for Joaquin Sample. Both teams needing to improve on the offense through the first month of the season. Here we go to Henderson Stadium for our first highlights of the night. As the Chargers get ready to rock and roll, here they go taking the field, and they got going early on. The quarterback, Donald Lamb, will run from the 45-yard line and watch him go. They cannot catch him. 20, 15, 10, by touchdown. He's in there, 55 yards to the end zone. It's game on. PAT was good, and the Chargers are up 7-0. And the Sugar Bear Band does the wave. We love it. At the end of the first quarter, the Raiders got a safety, and it was 7-2 Chargers. Then. They put more on the board. Donald Lamp in the 48 runs it all the way down to the 30. Knocked on the door again. He lost his head, made fun of his friends, but he was rock and roll with the offense. And Jalik Thomas comes in the quarterback, gets the direct snap, and watch him go. He takes off. Can he make it? Yes, he's in there for the score. Touchdown. The AT would be no good. The Chargers were leading still 13 to 2 over Northeast. Central again with the ball, nearing close to the end of the first half. Lamb, quick pass to Aubrey Evans, right on the sidelines at the 33 for a first down. Then clock counting down under a minute left to go. Lamb, long pass to Philip Lockett. And he's got a first down, but not in there yet. Two yards to go. And guess what? Quarterback keeper, he's in there for another Chargers touchdown. PAT would be good, and that would be 20 to 2 at the end of the first half, and the Chargers would hold on. To win it, 27-2. Coach Sample, you got yourself a win. Congratulations, my friend. Both teams are now 1-3 after Chargers win it 27-2. To Freedom Field, Houston County at Veterans as the Warhawks trying to remain undefeated. Look at that sunset right there. Warhawks get the ball first. Sebastian Berger, Cyrus Zool, who finds an opening on the sidelines. He's got a shot at the end zone, but Cam Stewart says nope. Not going to let you have it, and he strips the ball from Zul. The Bears recover the fumble. Antoine Adams with a recovery. Big play there for Hoko. Warhawks, though, get it again as their defense stopped the Bears. They get a shot at redemption. Berger drops back scrambles and gets the bomb to Cordell Clark. And he's got it, and he's going to score. Pointed somebody and then score. Flex those muscles. 7-0 veterans out on top after the PAT. Hoko with their shot now. The quarterback, Max Rigby, goes to work. Shotgun hands off Jalen Mills. And he's gone. Well, he's almost gone, but he's going to get caught by LeBron Fields. Knocked down around the five-yard line. That only delays the inevitable as Hoko busts through for the score. Jalen Mills again is going to break the plane and get in there for the touchdown. It was 7-7 with just under 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. But Veterans wins it. A wild one. 35-33 is the final. Warhawks are 5-0, and they are at Perry next week. Now across town to McConnell Talbert. Warner Robins hosted powerhouse Colquitt County tonight. It was 21-7. Warner Robins was down. Just over five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Here's Ty Leggett for the Packers, who kicks it up to about the 20. Colquitt County is really good now. they got a lot of prospects on this team. Demons need a stop here for a chance at the game. J.C. Harden to Dewan Edwards, but... Warner Robins defense keeps him out of the end zone. The Packers have to settle for a field goal attempt. And it's up, and it is no good. Demons dodge a bullet here, get the ball back, trying to get on the board. Demons trying to get something going from. Hands it off to Jalen Rutherford, who finds the gap, and he's going to take it for a long run down inside Colquitt territory. They were unable to do anything on that drive, however. Rod, Warner Robins again, though, from to Markel Jones. Bounces off his hands, plays dead. The Demons have to punt it now. But watch this. Colquitt just so tough. They block the punt, get the ball back around the Demons' 25-yard line. That leads to this. Dewan Edwards again. He's in the end zone for the Packers. That made it 28-7, Colquitt County. This was all Colquitt County. 41-14 is the final. And Warner Robins loses. They will play 
Northside next week. When we come back, Mount Vassell trying to tries to keep its perfect season alive, and we'll have our game of the week. More of the end zone right after this. More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.